All right, so step number one is to actually learn your HTML and CSS. So let's type in or like write HTML, CSS, right? This is step number one, and this is the most awkward one I've ever drawn. And now let me actually define for you what it means to learn HTML and CSS, okay? Because I want you to do it right, okay? I don't want you to waste your time doing stuff, deluding yourself that you actually know it, okay? So when I say you have to learn HTML and CSS, I do not mean learning every single tag and like memorizing it and whatnot. Don't do that. It's gonna be a waste of your time and you'll end up just being extremely frustrated because frankly, you cannot do it unless you have 15 years of experience and even with that many years, you will not use those properties. So instead, what I want you to focus is to start building stuff with it. So with HTML and CSS, it's actually pretty simple. When we are talking about HTML, we are talking about structure, okay? And before we even start writing code and whatnot, I'm gonna ask you to do this exercise with me. So I remember when I was in art school, this teacher in particular showed me a technique, which is you having to squint your eyes when you start to see blurry. And when you squint your eyes and you look at something, you can see the overall shape of an object, right? So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to open a website um, that you are using on a day-to-day -day basis, right? It can be Facebook, it can be Twitter, it can be an app on your phone, it can be Instagram, it can be a banking app, it can be TikTok, it can be PayPal. It doesn't really matter what app you're choosing. Ideally, it would be an app that you are familiar with, okay? And what I want you to do is to squint your eyes, then I want you to take a piece of paper, like it can be an A4 paper, A3, the size doesn't matter, right? That's what she said. I want you to start drawing containers and boxes, right? Like for example, um, if we take YouTube, right? We'll have something like this. We have a navigation bar like that. And then um, on the main page, we'd have some sort of uh, extra options here on the side. And then we will have like videos, right? We'll have like a bunch of videos, like in rows and whatnot. Then in the middle, we'd have the search bar. And then on the right, you'd have like the icon that is your face, right? And then here you'd have the YouTube logo, right? So this is pretty much like the structure of YouTube, okay? And now, when you start doing this, and when you start seeing how these websites are laid out, and when you learn the basics of like HTML, you would start to understand how to group things together because essentially what HTML allows you to do is to group elements and to group content, okay? And you only need maybe like 10 or 12 uh, tags to get the job done. So you need the div, you need the ul, the li, the ol. So ul means unordered list, ol means order list. You have the li, you have the a tag, which is like a link. You have a button, you have an input. What else do you have? A form, the paragraph where you put like a bunch of text and you have the headings, which make your text look big and whatnot. Anyway, there is a, um, in the second link in the description, there is my free course, which will show you all those tags, right? The point that I'm trying to make is that you don't need to know everything. You just need to know what you want to do, right? That's kind of the, the topic of today's video, right? Knowing what you want to do and using the right technology to get that thing done and learning as little as possible to be as productive as possible, as fast as possible, okay? That's that's what I want you to, to do because it's so easy as a beginner to get overwhelmed thinking that you need to know everything before you can do anything. That was my biggest mistake starting out. Before coding, I was um, in law school, okay? For the first two years, you just learn a bunch of theory and all that theory assumes that you know another piece of theory that you never heard about. So just after four years, you'll be able to put everything together and understand what the law is about or how law works in a specific country. Coding. Fortunately, it's not like that. That's why I quit law and I started my career in programming because I can get to work right away. That's kind of the beauty of, of our job. You can learn a few things and you can start building right away. If you go to med school, it's gonna take you 10 years till you'll be able to operate someone.
okay? And spending those 10 years in med school is not gonna guarantee that you'll become a, like a doctor. It's, it's not like that, right? But with coding, I can guarantee you that if you learn the basics and solve a real world problem, you can actually make a career out of it. That's, it's, it's, it's pretty simple in my opinion, compared with every single thing that's out there. Yeah, it's more complicated than flipping burgers, I, I understand, but it's not as complicated as, you know, becoming a doctor or a lawyer, right? So I hope that makes sense. That's how HTML works. And then when it comes to CSS, there are, again, just a few properties that you need to understand how to change the color of things, right? How to space things apart, how to make things go left to right, how to center things, how to space things apart from each other. If you just know that, and again, there are like 16 properties that you need to know. If you just know this, then you're good to go, okay? Uh, again, in the second link in the description, there is my free course with my community where I'm giving you all this information for free. You can start building uh, websites right away. The second thing is to start learning uh, something called JavaScript, okay? And coming from HTML and CSS into JavaScript, you will come in with an ego, right? Because this, even though they are very tedious, okay, that's how I can describe learn, uh, working with HTML and CSS, coming from a very tedious way of writing code to JavaScript where you actually have to think and you have to learn how to think in a different way, you'll have some problems, okay? But you can overcome them. You just need to adjust your mindset. I want you to come into JavaScript uh, assuming that you don't know anything, okay? So nothing that you've learned here is gonna be applied over here, okay? I want you to do that. And what I want you to focus on is understanding the basics. So functions, data structures, or data types. So data in general, uh, I want you to work on variables, okay? Uh, if statements, right? So like decision-making processes and loops. Essentially, this is all we have in programming. We have like a, a bunch of concepts and we piece those concepts to make... Have you ever worked with like a bigger Lego? Let's, let's, uh, let's talk about like one of those huge Lego sets. They have like 20,000 pieces or something like that. You look at it and you're overwhelmed, right? But if you just look at an individual piece, you'll see that it's just literally a piece like that, right? That would be an if statement or a for loop or a function. But then you put a bunch of them together and then you get a part of that castle. Then you put a few more together, you get another part of that castle and so on and so forth. And then you put multiple bigger pieces together, you get a bigger piece, right? That's kind of how applications work. And it's kind of hard to understand this as a beginner because when you start out, everything that you make is so insignificant and it takes a lot of effort from you to even get it going, right? And I, I can understand that that is the case that's how i was feeling in the beginning but what you need to do right now is to just understand all these things by writing a lot of code and asking yourself questions like what's the purpose of this this is all i want you to do ask yourself what is the purpose of this thing okay how can i relate this to the real world okay have i ever seen this in an application that i'm using on a day-to-day -day basis you need to start questioning everything. And once you start doing this, things will start to click for you 100%. Again, in my free course, second link in the description, you learn all about this stuff. Then step number three, these are pretty much like general programming concepts. Uh, and this kind of apply to a certain extent to any programming language. But now if we go deeper into the JavaScript world, what you need to do is to learn how to query and manipulate the DOM. So the DOM is the HTML. So JavaScript will create HTML elements or it's gonna grab HTML elements and modify them. Imagine you're on the Twitter website, on Chrome or on Firefox, whatever browser you're using. And as you scroll down, more tweets appear. Do you think there is a guy from China that writes down the HTML as you scroll down? No, it's not possible, right? Even though there are like a billion Chinese people, it's not possible to make them write the code as fast as possible, right? I hope that makes sense. So then we need to use programming, or in this case, JavaScript, to create those tweets as the user is scrolling, right? So then 
JavaScript is gonna help us know how far the user scrolled and if the user is getting close to the bottom of the list, then JavaScript is going to create a new series of tweets, right? That's how it works. I hope you start to understand how, how this uh, process actually works. So then JavaScript is gonna create HTML for us, it's gonna modify the HTML for us, and it's gonna use functions, data, variables, if statements, loops, and so on and so forth to create that new HTML, okay? That's the next step. So let's put here the DOM. Then step number four, and I think this is very, very important, is to understand how to manipulate the data, right? So step one, or step three in this case is manipulating the DOM and step four, step two after this would be to manipulate data, okay? So what do I mean by manipulating data? Well, sorting lists of people, filtering lists of people, let's say, things of that nature. I don't wanna get into it because it's a chapter that has to be explored, but uh, think about learning how to work with algorithms and so on and so forth. I would make an account on Code Wars and then I would get to solve a bunch of algorithms just so I can understand how things work. Think about algorithms like your cardio before the gym. So it's like the warm up, okay? And if you are warmed up and whatnot and your heart is in uh, proper working condition, then you'll be able to push more weight in the gym. Algos. Now here, what I want you to do a step five is to start prepping for interviews, okay? So again, if you join my free community, I'm gonna give you a list of questions, trivia questions, but if you don't wanna do that, for whatever reason, maybe I'm not gonna let you in or whatever, just Google top 10 JavaScript interview questions, or like top 20 JavaScript interview questions, or, or top 10 HTML and CSS JavaScript questions. And I want you to study those every day, and I want you to be able to regurgitate them, okay? like they are nothing. Typically, you'll be asked questions about the call stack, scope, closures, difference between varlet and const, difference between double equals and triple equals. Every single time I'm asking these questions and pretty much everyone fails at them because they believe they are too simple, okay? They believe they are too simple. They will not laugh so much when they will have an interview and they will fail them just because they were too cocky to spend the time learning the basics. Okay, because when you think you know something, that's when you start failing. Okay, record yourself, right? You learn the difference between varlet and const, take your phone out and start talking at the camera and tell the difference between varlet and const. And then you look back at it and then you judge yourself how you look like. Do you, do you seem confident? Do you mumble? Uh, is every word coming out in the right way? Did you say the same thing as in the, the the theory, as it is on MDN? Probably not. So then you'll do it again, and again, and again, and again. This is gameplay video. Athletes do this. They watch themselves fighting so they can find weaknesses. Six, React, okay? I want you to learn the basics of React, or Vue, or Angular, whatever you wanna learn. I don't necessarily care what you'll do. Once you're comfortable with the basics of React and you understand how React works, so you understand how to answer trivia questions about React, you understand like how the hooks work, you understand how classes work in React, you understand all these things, then you'll go and build, for step seven, a three month long project with React, okay? Three month. Why? Because if you just spend some time learning the basics, a month or two, then going into a, a three month project, it's only gonna reinforce everything you've learned and it's gonna give you more opportunities to practice, right? If you wanna stand out in a senior only market, then you need to have skills. How do you get skills? By practicing the theory and by writing a lot of code. If you write code for three months on the same application, you learn so much, guaranteed. Guaranteed, I never saw anyone getting worse after creating a three month long project. I've never seen it, okay? It's like, if you try to get good at something, would you get good in a week or would you get good in three months? Step eight, this is super simple as well. Three months, 
building a project with another person okay super simple i made a bunch of videos about how to do this how to find the right problem how to go about packaging it again very simple stuff not easy okay simple not easy they're not the same thing this is super simple you just build something and make it look good and make it look like it's solving a real world problem this should be the eight steps that you need to do to actually get a developer job very very simple stuff most people will stop here like 50 percent of them will stop here another 50 percent will stop here okay from those that are remaining 50 percent will drop off here <clears throat> 90 percent will drop off here and maybe one percent out of these ones from here will actually follow through with this it's so straightforward but you have to put in the time and the effort and whatever you think it's enough it's not so this is pretty much the work that you have to do this is the game plan if you want me to help you with this so you can implement this for yourself without having to struggle so much trying to find the right things apply for my mentorship program that's the first thing in the description i have a great offer for you if i'm not gonna get you job ready in nine months or less then i'm gonna give you all your cash back and five thousand dollars on top of that for wasting your time why because i have put so much effort and i've put so much time developing every single part of this program to help you achieve this goal for yourself okay so this is for you if you you are serious about this in the first place if you have like two hours a day to dedicate towards this ideally more but minimum two hours and you want to get a remote developer job okay this is for you okay so first thing in the description click the link apply and i'll see you in the next one peace out